Alright, I hope there's enough light here for you guys. Got a, a little bit of an interesting video for you. Um, if any of you guys are hardcore gamers or whatever, you guys should uh, enjoy this video because it took me a while to figure this out and it's actually pretty friggin' simple. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, don't mind that. A little gassy. Um, anyway, as you guys know, the 775s and the new heat sinks, they basically suck because they don't have back plates. And there's a couple other sockets that suffer from the same problem. Uh, excuse me. So I've been trying to think of a mount system for a while. Oh, sorry, I have the hiccups. And uh, I finally came up with something. Try and keep you out of the wind of the fan there. Actually, I can turn that off temporarily. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a 2x6 underneath the motherboard. Okay. And what I've done is instead of having a back plate or a back board, what you do is you screw the heat sink. As you can see, I have some deck screws here. Or these are outdoor screws anyway, that are about three inch long, that go down into the 2x6. So you see there's no pressure on the board, because it's pulling right against the back, like the bottom of the socket. Because that's where the wood's going to be pushing, is right where the socket is, because that's where it's pushing down on top and so on and so forth. So that's basically a really really cheap um, backplate mod to save you guys motherboards I mean this thing's like perfectly straight and this is on a you know 775 board with it locked down friggin tight like it is tight uh, no that heatsink on the top does not do anything at all whatsoever right now as you can see there's a little Advil cap in there it's just keeping pressure on my uh, water block because I didn't have any uh, cross clips that would fit it right away so I just uh, redneck rigged that on there. So yeah the heatsink doesn't actually do anything at the moment. Oh, you can hear the fan kick up because they just turned off the pelt here. Uh, real temp right now is 33 degrees. Something else I figured out, if you run a pelt here through a fan, so here's the positive connection which runs through the fan and then to the positive on the pelt here, they pull less amps. I can show you that right now. Okay, so you can see where the bar is. That's on the fan. Okay, so that's on the fan. And if I just touch it, oh, wait, 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 there we are. If I just touch it direct, so just running it through the fan saves me a few amps, and it uh, doesn't really hurt the temperatures at all. Plus, the fan just happens to be right in front of my charger, so it keeps my charger nice and cool too. So that's a bonus. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. That's a really cheap uh, backplate mod for you. I mean, it doesn't have to be a 2x6, you could take, you know, three layers of uh, friggin' particle board or whatever and just glue the three layers together and cut it the size of the board and there you go. So I thought you guys might enjoy that, help you uh, save some other boards and possibly mount some custom water blocks or custom heat sinks because you no longer need a back plate or anything, all you need is the something on the front of it to hold it to the to the board as you normally would or, or even having a you know across a bar just a bar with two holes in it like this a bar with a hole at each end and you just screw it down on top of the water block and that holds it in so yeah I just thought I'd give you guys that quick little update just having some fun with this 1.8 <laughs> It's a dual, duo core 1.8 that does about 3.5. And right now it's doing 12 degrees Celsius. 
on a water cooled, uh, I think it's a 400 watt Peltier. It's either a four or a five, I can't remember. So it's a water cooled four or a 500 watt Peltier. I can't remember exactly. With the temp probe right here, as you can see, touching the actual block, or not the block, the um, touching the cap of the CPU. So that's like pretty well guaranteed what my temps are. Oh, now it's 24 because I just turned the pelt off again. 26. Turn the pelt back on. I'll go direct this time so you guys can see how fast she drops. Anyway, so to give you guys a little a little update there, so uh, yeah, could save you some money. You know, you don't have to buy a good case or anything. Just friggin' buy a piece of two by six, screw the piece of two by six to the wall, put your motherboard on the wall, and Bob Drunkle, well, there you go. And you wouldn't even have to take the board off of the piece of wood to clean it. You just take the whole piece of wood off the wall and friggin' clean it that way. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, well, I'll probably get some more, some more updates on something going soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.